All right, so we're covering my seven weird pet peeves. It's Marta Mondays. I just finished my lift. I'm actually parked in front of the gym I go to. There's a Starbucks right behind it. So that explains my little drinking green tea lemonade moment in the beginning. So welcome back, koala subbies. Did you miss me? I missed you terribly. So as I didn't have a Marta Mondays this week, because if you are a loyal subscriber, and you saw my most recent little clip. I explained that there's no Marta Mondays this week. I am having an awesome week. <laughs> and I say this sarcastically because if you read the last video caption, I was betrayed by someone that I loved and I thought loved also means if someone loves me, they wouldn't go on a trip with an alleged ex without telling me, but woe is me, silly me, lesson learned, uh, on to bigger and better things um, and living my best life. So like I said, I just finished my lift. Um, I don't know if you can see kind of, I got my <laughs> lifting uh, evidence, weightlifting gloves are for bitches and I like feeling the barbell. So I'm done with my lift. Uh, I once again come to you without makeup, but I feel very beautiful and confident without it. Do I need light? Makes no difference. That's fine. <laughs> so I wanted to make a lighthearted video because I miss Marta Mondays and Marta Mondays are more about improving ourselves and all that kind of stuff. So since that's not happening this week, but I do want to have a video, of course, for consistency. So. I have one for you. <laughs> one of my favorite YouTubers films like 90% of her videos from her car. And I don't know that I've ever filmed in my car. I'm pretty sure there's really nothing on my channel, like a sit down kind of video where I'm sitting. So I'm sitting in my car and I wanted to try it. 10 lines. <laughs> So I'm going to be going over my seven pet peeves. I love learning the personalities of YouTubers I follow and kind of their little quirks and features as Doug, Doug DeMuro would say. Look at these quirks and features. Here's my feature, these guns. <laughs> Anyhow, my very first pet peeve is people that chew really loudly or just make a lot of mwah, mwah, smacking noise when they're eating. If you're out in public and you're having a snack, it is not that hard to keep your mouth closed when you're snacking. Some people are more predispositioned to let this get on their nerves. And I think maybe 23andMe even said that I am sensitive to that, which I didn't need a genetic test to tell me that. I just, there's something that happens where I focus on that noise even more. We're covering my seven pet peeves, the first being loud chewers. My number two pet peeve, my number two pet peeve is guys on dating apps that go, second pet peeve is when people on dating apps go WYD, WYD, which I think means what are you doing, but it would be so very nice if you could form a full sentence or ask a question, even saying hello. I just feel that it comes across as no effort, minimal effort. And 
this is tied together in with people that send you say three question marks because you're not responding within an hour or two you know people have lives i have all my notifications off so your three question marks aren't going to help your situation so that's my pet peeve number two patience is a virtue my friends my third pet peeve is when people leave their blinkers on I know that sometimes we can have loud music and forget, but it generally shows you in the dash if your blinker's going off because I'm pretty nice and I will let you into my lane. And if someone keeps blinking and I'm giving them space, but you're not making any moves, it makes me think that you forgot that your blinker is on. And I notice here in Miami, this happens often. And so, it's just something to be mindful of. So that's my little pet peeve, people leaving their blinkers on. And that's pet peeve number three. Fourth pet peeve is people that are bad tippers. I have actually worked in the industry service when I moved back to the United States in 2017. I briefly worked as a waitress in an Afghan restaurant in Dallas, Texas, and maybe you didn't know but uh, waiters live on tips mostly because the hourly pay is not so great and through that experience i have much more appreciation for people in the service industry it's a lot of hard work and if you can afford to go out you can afford to tip and especially if someone's doing a pretty good job you know don't be a scrooge and don't give them the tip or leave a shitty tip i think that's so unkind what you put out there into the universe comes around and i always leave a generous tip i usually use angel numbers because i'm into that kind of stuff but i think it's really important to be kind to tip and not be a scrooge if you can afford to go out you can afford to tip that's my pet peeve number four if you're not subscribed to my channel yet excuse me what are you waiting for <laughs> all right time for pet peeve number five so my pet peeve number five is oh how on point i don't know if you heard the loud car but it's people that think that the parking garage is a place to race your car i live in miami where i feel like i have to be on defensive driving mode 24 7. i don't know if you've heard but miami drivers are pretty much the craziest in all of the US. I don't know, all those cortaditos getting people riled up or I don't know what it is, but it's true. And I notice often in my parking garage, which has levels and spirals up, people will just and you know, if you feel the need for speed, it's called the left lane on the highway, maybe do it responsibly. I'm not promoting, you know, being fast and furious, but the parking garage is just not the place. I've had close moments where people almost cut me off at the turn, so of course I always am careful, but I'm just saying that's pet peeve number five. My sixth pet peeve has to do with weightlifting. It's when people in the power cage where you go with the barbell and you do your squats or deadlift, whatever, you know, the place with the weights and the plates, that's called the cage. Um, yes that's what i'm getting at because i was just lifting over there and my pet peeve there is when people leave the plates on the barbell if you are done with your sets you're done you're leaving please take the weights off and put them back please just leave the barbell it is so easy and so kind and if we all just continue this chain of plate return kindness it will be much smoother and please everybody be respectful it's such a pet peeve when i don't see just the barbell and people especially leaving big weights if you're gonna lift so heavy bro you can take it off bro just saying and my final pet peeve and look how dark it is now because i had to delete some videos from my overcapacitated phone to film this my seventh pet peeve is people that cut others off or interrupt them i think 
whatever thought you have, you can note it, set it aside, but please don't interrupt another person. It not only looks rude, it makes the other person think that you're not as good of a listener as you are, which probably is true if you're interrupting. So it's a small thing, but you will really see how much it benefits your life when you fully hear someone out and don't interrupt them. So that's my seventh pet peeve, people cutting me off, interrupting me. Thank you for listening to my little pet peeves. I am curious what your pet peeves are. Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna be back with another Marta Monday soon. In the meanwhile, stay swole. I hope everyone's being healthy and taking care of themselves. I have a really nice tan going on. So I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my evening now that I got my lifting done and I will see you on another video. I appreciate each and every one of you, Koala Subbies. Thank you for making my day as always. Mwah. Kisses. Ooh. Let's show them around. I'm literally just like sitting in the parking lot. Well, there's the Starbucks drive through right there. And there's me. In my legs. I um I got a green tea lemonade and I must say it's really yummy. Gotta love it. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much, Koala Subbies. <laughs> Bye guys.